Hi there. Thank you to everyone who's left the podcast a rating and review in iTunes or Stitcher. If you haven't already, could I please ask you to do so? It really helps the podcast get more exposure and um, it helps in the ratings in iTunes and Stitcher. You can go to convome.com slash iTunes or convome.com slash my Stitcher. And I really appreciate you taking the time to do that. Welcome to the Etsy Conversations podcast, featuring inspiring interviews with Etsy shop owners, hosted by Ijama Elazu. Hi, and welcome to this week's episode of the Etsy Conversations podcast. I'm your host, Ijama, and um, welcome again um, to another episode. I'm really excited because I have an, another international Etsy seller, and I'm always thrilled to have international sellers on the podcast. And I've heard from um, you listening, I've, I've received some feedback that you also like hearing from international Etsy sellers, and um, so that makes me happy. Um, if you need to reach me, you can contact me on Twitter at Convo Me Podcast. I'm also on Facebook. There's the Facebook um, Etsy Conversations Podcast Facebook page. And if you want to jump in and have a conversation with other Etsy um, pod, uh, conversation podcast guests or other Etsy sellers, um, there's also a Facebook group. You can get there um, through, um, if you go to convome.com slash Facebook group, you'll get to the group. Um, to get to the page, you can go to convome.com slash Facebook. And <clears throat> that's it for my announcements. My guest this week is Cinzia. Cinzia is from Italy, and I'm really thrilled um, because she is a fairly new Etsy seller. And I love talking to new Etsy sellers because um, they have just such a different perspective and they're in, in a growth phase. And I think there's so much that we can learn from people who are just starting out, um, especially for sellers who have been doing it for a while. Um, and um, so I, I'm looking forward to this conversation. Chinzia, thank you for being my guest and welcome to the podcast. Hi, uh, my name is Chinzia and um, thanks a lot for this opportunity. I'm very excited to be here with you. Oh, thank you. I'm glad to have <laughs> you. Chinzia, can you just tell us a little bit about yourself first? Well, uh, I'm a mom uh, of two. Uh, I'm married and uh, I'm... I'm a civil engineer, but uh, three years ago, when uh, I had my first child, I wanted to take a break from work for uh, take care of family. Uh, so I started to sew and uh, to make uh, bags. And uh, now, after three years later, here I'm here to talk about <laughs> my Etsy uh, shop, uh, Tenerina, called Tenerina Bags. Wow. So, Cinzia, did you first know about Etsy before you decided you wanted to create, to have your own business so you could stay at home? And how did you discover Etsy? Um, well, no, I didn't know Etsy, really. I discovered uh, uh, Etsy for uh, the first time a few months ago when I decided to start uh, selling my stuff online. So I started looking for a way to sell online without creating my e-commerce website, mm. but uh, using an existing platform. You okay, know. excellent. And can you tell us specifically what you sell? Your shop is Tenerina Bags, um, but you sell more than just bags. Yeah, I obviously I, I sell bags, uh, different types, uh, like messengers, satchel, clutches. I also sell um, accessories like uh, scarves, uh, wallets, uh, cases, or, and um, sleeves uh, for uh, tablets and smartphones. And now I'm uh, preparing a new, new stuff uh, for kids, like uh, backpacks mm -hmm. uh, with animal shapes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, in the next days, I will uh, post on, uh, in my Etsy shop these new items. Okay, so there'll be new lines of new product lines to look out for. Yeah, just Great. for kids. Just yes. for kids. Now, um, when you originally opened your Etsy shop, what was your intention? Um, did you want to do it full time or did you just want some income because you knew you, were, you wanted to stay home with your, with your kids full time? Uh, well, um, 
No, um, my goal wa was uh, to um, uh, turn my hobby into something more uh, serious and concrete. Uh, um, I, I hope uh, that one day the store will become a full-time job. This is my, my goal, my intention. Okay, excellent. And so right now, you're a full-time mom. You don't work outside of the home. And you have two kids, right? You're up to two now, right? Yeah. How do you manage your time with two kids and running your Etsy business? Well, um, as every mother, uh, uh, the day starts early in the morning and then uh, uh, late in the evening. So... Um, um, but uh, um, from September, both children go to the kindergarten. So now I have almost the whole morning free, uh, which is uh, the time that I dedicate uh, to create my, my objects. Mm -hmm. Then uh, uh, I spend uh, maybe one or two hours in the evening if I have time. Uh, but uh, this is uh, the time uh, I, I dedicate to, to Etsy. Okay. To all right. So when you're creating a new product, what inspires you to make a new design? Well, um, at the beginning, I used the patterns of two famous designers. But uh, now I'm gradually becoming more confident at designing my own bags. I, I also love to, to look around me and see what other people like to wear which bags and accessories my friends are using and sometimes uh, new, new ideas come up for my object. It's uh, becoming really like an obsession <laughs> to observe uh, the bags of other women and I also get inspired by looking on web, fashion magazine and other Etsy shops as well. You know, I, there's one thing I noticed about your, your, um, your bags and I want to ask you about that. Um, you name them in a unique way so like they have food elements associated with them so like there's the rose hip satchel bag and the chili peppers so um shoulder bag and the paprika shoulder bag what's your thought process behind it behind the food association yes because um um Tenerina, the name of my shop, is uh, the name of uh, a cake, an Italian cake uh, mm -hmm. uh, from uh, the, the place I was born. And it's a chocolate cake. And I'm, I'm quite good in kitchen. Well, I love cooking <laughs> and I love uh, uh, to eat like every Italian uh, do. Yeah. <laughs> so I decided to associ associate uh, food uh, especially um, fruits and uh, uh, cake uh, ingredients uh, to my items, uh, to my bags. So you can see uh, names of, um, uh, of these uh, ingredients. Uh, I, I wanted really to use Italian names, but uh, I, I thought it uh, was better to use um, English names uh, uh, for, for the... Okay. For the object. Okay, I see. So Tenerina is known for its chocolate cake. Yes. Okay. Note to self for if I ever am in Tenerina, just ask. So is it just called uh, a Tenerina cake? Yeah, Tenerina cake. And uh, on, on my website, uh, you can find the recipe. Oh. And uh, I I like to... to, to uh, uh, to share to share it because it's a really good cake. Oh. <laughs> so try it. Is it an all occasion cake or is it for any particular occasion? No, it's uh, for every every occasion. It's easy and very good. Everyone loves it, especially kids. But everyone lo love uh, ca um, chocolate. <laughs> I think. <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course, chocolate. Yeah. Everyone is there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry, I know I've digressed, but I, I got distracted with the chocolate cake. Yeah, <laughs> not sorry. That's okay. Um, so do you spend time looking at the shops of other people who make and sell bags? And if so, what do you look to get? Um, yes, I do look at competitors' uh, stores, but mm. 
not so often. I I do it when when I try to get uh, inspiration for a new object or when I receive the Etsy newsletter mm -hmm. with the trends of the moment. Mm -hmm. Um, also, when I create a new treasury, I take a look at other uh, Etsy shops. Um, it's inspiring to see how many beautiful things other people are doing and uh, um, makes me want to do even uh, better. Yeah. Yeah. Um, have you so far... Now, you've, only, you've not been on Etsy that long, so I'm hoping the answer is no. Have you had any negative experiences so far on Etsy? Uh, no, okay, good. fortunately, not for now. Uh, I would say not yet, because uh, uh, I think it could happen that the customer would not be happy about an item or a uh, shipping, even if you do all your best for making things going well. So uh, we'll see. Yes, absolutely. And, and I think it's good that you're being realistic, because when you do business online, offline, wherever, eventually it's going to happen somebody yeah. is not going to be happy and then you just have to figure out how to deal with that and fix it yeah part of the cost of doing business so yeah. let's talk about how you're promoting your etsy shop what do you do to promote your shop and how do you generate excitement around your products um i promote my shop in uh, different ways for example i belong to um various groups on Etsy, including the Etsy Italian team, mm -hmm. and that's important to, for staying updated on uh, what's new on Etsy. Mm -hmm. uh, then I try to create uh, regularly some treasuries, which are lists of uh, theme themed uh, items. Yeah. And um, another uh, important aspect is uh, social networks. Uh, among the, the many existing social networks, I use uh, Facebook, uh, Twitter, Instagram, and uh, Pinterest. Uh, I think they are very helpful. Uh, even uh, if I don't post uh, on all of them every day, because I do not always have time. Yeah. So, yeah. Of, of all the social media networks that you're on, so Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, which one do you find gives you the best return for your investment of time on it? Um, well, they are all different. Mm -hmm. And um, obviously, it's uh, easier for me to post uh, pictures on Instagram mm -hmm. or pin uh, on Pinterest. And uh, yeah. I think they are quite good, especially Instagram. Uh, but I think to create engagement, um, I think it's better um, Facebook because uh, uh, you can write more about you. Uh, you can um, make other people understand what your taste uh, and what your opinion about stuff, about uh, the creation you do. So I think Facebook. Yeah. Okay. And then you also have a website, um, tenerinabags.com. What's yes. the main purpose of the website? Is it just primarily for um, e-commerce to sell, just like as an additional outlet to sell? Or do you do some blogging and promotion of your Etsy shop on there? No, now I, for now I didn't have time to do blogging. Uh, it's just, it's, it's just uh, uh, a way to... to to show my my bags. Uh, in fact, uh, uh, you can see the pictures of my of my items, mm -hmm. uh, and after that, you've been redirect uh, clicking on it uh, to my Etsy shop. Okay. But uh, uh, I do I do not uh, uh, blog uh, on it or um, do anything else. Okay, and um, I will have links to um, Tenerina's um, the TenerinaBags.com website and and um chinzia's etsy shop and all her social media accounts if you want to connect with her or take a look at the website and see um what she's doing with it now let's talk about um your connections on on etsy so you've you've connected with um etsy teams um to help with shop promotion are there any, would you say that there have been any relationships through Etsy that you've developed that have 
really been beneficial to you? Mm, well, at the moment, uh, um, not yet, uh, mm-hmm. but uh, I hope uh, it will happen. Yeah. But uh, I'm, I haven't uh, created uh, uh, any relations uh, uh, with the other sellers or uh, just I'm um, um, reading uh, th- threads about uh, um, things I, 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 I'm looking for. Right. Or for answer to answer any some, some questions uh, I have about my shop okay. or the best uh, practices. Okay. And um, are you? I don't know if this is done in in Italy, but do do you have things like craft fairs where um, or or vendor fairs where you can go and set up and sell in person? Uh, yes, uh, we have uh, a lot of fairs, uh, especially in this uh, period uh, before Christmas. Okay. Um, yes, I I did the way, go. I did go to a to a fair a few ta- few few days ago. A very small uh, fair, mm-hmm. and uh, it was uh, not easy to stay all day long. Uh, <laughs> sit down <laughs> yeah. so I think I prefer to try selling online yeah okay but it's uh, in, in, interesting to to go and uh, meet especially meet uh, other sellers uh, yeah. like you and find uh, not friends but uh, people uh, who are uh, making this, the, the same of you right right Okay. Or suppliers as well. Yeah. Were you able to, like, when people come to your table or your booth, do you yeah. let them know that you also have an online shop on Etsy? Do you do any type of cross-promotion in that way? Or or did you this time around? Yes, I I give them uh, my, my card and uh, I ask them for uh, an email or a contact uh, oh. and... Um, for contacting them later or uh, just uh, to stay in touch. Yeah, keep okay. in touch, yes. Okay, cool. Um, now, when you get a new idea for, for a bag or, or an accessory, typically how long is your process from when you have the idea of what you want to create to actually making it and then listing it on Etsy? Yeah. Uh, well, uh, when I have an idea, I think um, I take uh, two days or two or three days before I list it on Etsy because uh, uh, I often need to buy the materials because mm-hmm. I don't have so much uh, different fabrics and uh, ma- stuff at home. Mm-hmm. Uh, after that, I have to I, I take one day for create the item and uh, write down the steps and the measurements I will need uh, for later. And I have to take pictures and make the descriptions. Uh, it's a long process. Right. And so um, do, you, do you sometimes find that you're just not getting any new ideas about things to create? Um, well, uh, it hasn't yet happened uh, not to have um, more uh, inspiration. Um, indeed, I have uh, the opposite problem. <laughs> I, I have uh, a thousand uh, ideas in my mind and little time to implement them. Yeah. I think um, that if you always do the same things, uh, uh, can happen to get into sort of a crea- creative uh, mm, routine. Mm-hmm. You must try to to renew your style, think in new design. Uh, for your items, like I'm doing with uh, the the kids' uh, stuff uh, and the, the backpacks, uh, uh, with uh, the the animal uh, shapes. Yeah, it's uh, something new, just to to try th- something different. Okay, um, so do you keep? How do you keep track of of all what you are going to make? So, like you, like a lot of creative people we have these ideas that are just constantly passing through our heads. Um, 
what methods do you use to just make sure you don't lose an idea? Do you like keep a portfolio or a book where you write down things that you want to create at some future time when you have the time? Uh, well, I um, have a book when I first uh, write down uh, every idea or uh, everything I need to buy. or And after that, uh, I have my my google drive oh, <laughs> where yeah. i where uh, where i um, uh, write uh, the the um, uh, the descriptions because uh, i i like to have everything on my pc right. and uh, and then and uh, sometimes i print uh, uh, on paper and uh, put in my book Mm -hmm. the book where I have the patterns uh, yes. so I can uh, use uh, when, while I'm uh, sewing uh, and I'm uh, cutting the, 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 the fabric uh, for making the, the item, the, bag, the bags. Uh. Okay. What would you say so far, um, just um, having been on Etsy for not that long, what would you say is something that has been the hardest for you to get used to um, selling online um, well uh, at the beginning it's uh, very difficult to pop up on Etsy considering the high number of uh, shop uh, mm -hmm. of competitors mm -hmm. I think uh, you have to you have not to lose uh, the passion and uh, keep pushing uh, but, uh, yeah, it's difficult because uh, there are a lot of people out there. So, yeah. uh, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, you have just to, to uh, try and go on. And uh, I think uh, social networks can be very useful to, uh, to, to help to promote. promote yourself. Right, yes. And you're right, because on Etsy, yes, there are so many other sellers and um, setting yourself apart um, is is difficult, especially for new sellers when you're just trying to figure out how to show up and how, how to show up in the searches and and all that. Yeah. Um, it, it, it can be hard if you could. Um, especially since you're new, uh, and maybe this isn't so much a, a, an issue for you yet because you're relatively new on the site. I always like to ask what people, what type of feature people would like to see on Etsy that doesn't yet exist. And I don't know if you've yet had a chance to, um, uh, um, in the time you've been on Etsy, to desire something that they don't yet offer. Or um, Yeah, I would like, for example... Uh, an easier way to create and um, manage uh, treasury and oh, uh, to contact uh, the shop owners uh, that I featured in my treasury. Because at the moment you have to copy every item link and pass it yeah. into your treasury page. And it's a very long uh, process. Mm -hmm. And um, treasury are very useful. So uh, it will be... Um, good if uh, uh, there was a, a faster way to add these uh, links uh. okay yeah i know I, the the process uh, i love creating treasuries but you're right you always have to have like at least two windows open yeah. one with the shops that you're looking at and then one where you're creating it um yeah it would be nice to drag and drop or something um yeah okay. and after that it's nice to contact the the people uh, you know yeah. the owner of the shops uh, and uh, you have uh, to to uh, to manage another page uh, and uh, it's long yeah okay well not that they're going to do it because i don't know if anyone from etsy actually listens to this podcast but i like to just ask just because <laughs> um okay so now as a new seller let's say there's somebody who is listening to this discussion and they also are, you know, relatively new. Um, they have a craft that they make and they're considering selling on Etsy. What advice would you have for that person regarding 
whether or not they should, you know, sell on Etsy? Yeah, um, first of all, uh, I think you have to start uh, this adventure with a lot of passion and uh, tenacity. Mm. Don't give up after the first weeks (laughs) and uh, ask people with more experience. Uh, um, After all, uh, learn from your errors uh, and uh, change uh, direction um, if you see that uh, the way is wrong. Just uh, change. Yeah, Yeah, it's true. And try. Yeah, I have to remind myself that too. If something isn't working, then stop doing it and do yeah. you know, try something else <laughs> sometimes yeah, we forget you know we think oh no if I just keep trying long enough it will but uh, sometimes it just won't so what um what's something that you feel right now is working very well for your Etsy shop um at the moment uh, uh I'm um designing uh, these new bags <laughs> Um, for kids mm-hmm. um, and uh, the the design uh, the, this step is very um, exciting for me because I'm making up uh, something that was just in my mind mm. um, I really um, can't wait to finish uh, these last items and uh, ask uh, for opinions around mm. uh, uh, even for, from my own kids <laughs> oh yeah there'll be a test market <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> the most. <laughs> yeah, I know. Then the most honest, you'll you'll get the truth for sure. The most honest, yes. <laughs> yeah. Now, Chinzia, if anyone wants to reach out to you, what's the best way to contact you? Uh, well, um, you can find my email uh, uh, in my Etsy shop or okay. my website. Okay. Uh, also on the sh- social networks, I'm. I'm uh, very present on them. So it's easy okay. to find. <laughs> and I will have links to um, Chinzia's Etsy shop, which is Tenerina Bags, um, and to her website, tenerinabags.com. And then all her social media links will be um, on the website. Go to convome.com slash Tenerina Bags. And you'll have all the contact information. You can reach out to her through them and feel free to leave uh, feedback on this episode. Chinzia, thank you so much for being my guest. And thank you for, I have to say, thank you for staying up this late to do this recording yeah. <laughs> because there's a, we're about eight hours apart and um, you are very gracious to stay up late with two small kids to do this. And I appreciate that. Uh, yeah, thanks a lot to you and uh, to all uh, your listeners and the greetings from uh, Italy. <laughs> yeah, how do you say goodbye in Italian? Oh, no, I know, no. Is it ciao? Ciao. Okay, good, good. I was like, wait, no, that's an easy <laughs> ciao one. Ciao e, bu- e buonanotte. Ciao good night. buonanotte. Good night. All right. And thank you for <laughs> listening to this episode. I will be back next week. Thank you for listening. You can subscribe to the podcast in iTunes, and while you're there, please leave a review, too. Visit ConvoMe.com to leave a comment or feedback on this episode.